Hello and welcome back to my let's play of Pokemon Flora Sky. In the last episode, we uh, gained cut, um, and well, no, we had cut. But we gained the ability to use it. We took on Team Magma at Charpost Town, and then we were transported back to Plate Picks, and I decided to explore using our newfound ability to cut things. Um, in order to uh, explore a lot more of this area, find out what else was around, um, and yeah, just sort of uh, see where else we could go. And the last thing that we were doing was uh, we were heading up here and we just reached Meteor Falls, but we also reached an extra area. So we were doing all of this, and there is a double battle. I, well, what I assume is a double battle, we're just over here, leading on this tip bridge. But no, okay, so the it's actually just a notice that you've got to, they're looking to repair the bridge. So, uh, all of that was for nothing. Oh, alas! But anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to explore some Meteor Falls, uh, some of Meteor Falls, see how far we can get in uh, that area. Uh, let's just check our Pokemon. Yeah, good, so 31 to 34. We had some evolutions the last episode, which was all very exciting. So, Meteor Falls, we can't cross through there. So let's see, what sort of Pokemon we have around here? We see Wild Soul Rock, uh, which we will using that uh, Astonish. I think Nightshade shouldn't take you out. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now uh, we have these Great Balls. Are oh, you kidding me? Okay, so this is going to actually be a tougher capture than I was hoping. At least it looks like it. Come on. Come on, Soul Rock. You know you want to go in the ball. I wish I had... There we go. We catch ourselves a Soul Rock. The Meteorite Pokemon. We can also obviously assume that if there are Soul Rock here, there are most likely Lunatone here. It actually appears that this is actually all we can do. So, this, this whole trip has been for nothing, as it were. Um, alas. So, um, seeing as we're low on health, we're going to our Ponytail. Hypnosis misses, which is good news. Well, Ember, this is, yeah, this isn't going to be very effective. I was hoping for a burn, but anyway. Uh, we will try and catch this Lunatone. I didn't. Okay, so let's try and catch this Lunatone, and then we'll be ready to progress. Come on, Lunatone. I know you want to stay in the ball. There we go. We catch ourselves a Lunatone, also the meteorite Pokemon. Um, normally the only other Pokemon you might see around here are Bagon. Um, but it looks like uh, we've just got some... Uh, there we go, good. A bit worried that we can escape there, but anyway. <laughs> cool. Okay, so yeah, a very short start. As uh, That is literally as much as we can really do in that area. Um, so we'll head south again, we'll head to this uh, Pokemon Center, and then we'll start heading... Uh... Oh, that's not fun. I never knew that that Pokemon Center was blocked off. Guess I never needed to use it. Uh, anyway, well, in that case, just to be certain, it's just because we don't want... Uh... Certainly don't want our, uh, our Duskull to faint or anything like that, we'll just quickly go into what I mean. He's our level 6, so shouldn't be any issue. But... So we head up here, we've got uh, this Rock Smash, we get a Pearl, so money. Okay, so Union Gate, back through here. Um, the gym, we still can't surf, so yeah, we've already done all of this. Uh, what I was going to do is teach one of my Pokemon heads up, that was it. Uh, I remember mentioning that at the end of the last episode, so let's find Headbutt. Uh, Monferno can learn Headbutt, as can Whelmer, so uh, let's give Whelmer Headbutt just for a moment, instead of uh, Astonish. Just because Astonish is a, a very weak move. So, uh, oh, and the other thing is, is we can also explore the, um, we can go inside the art gallery. 
So let's have a look. We have the four four gym badges needed in order to get it through here. So we're at this art museum where you can see fantastic paintings and the curator is a wonderful person. Among artists like myself, this museum is an inspiration. This lady is pretty. This Pokemon is adorable, just like a little boy. Battling with Pokemon is fun, I'll grant you that. What well, one mustn't forget our love for the fine arts. And I'm assuming this is the curator. Yep. So if we say we have, uh, yeah, so we got all of the, these, uh, this special exhibit hall that, uh, yeah, we've already, uh, pretty sure this is, uh, very similar to all the stuff that we saw in, uh, when we did Sapphire, but we have a Team Aqua presence here. Interesting. Okay, so Team Aqua presence in the museum, but we can't seem to do anything about it. So we've got, uh, Team Magma presence on... The early route, uh, forest entrance, I think it was called, and we've got a team magma. Uh, sorry, a team aqua presence in the museum here in Puel City, I believe that was. So anyway, we're back here on Route B. We'll zip through. Um, just to zip through this route. These routes. Yeah, forest entrance. That was right. Good. Really? Ah, oh, yeah. Well, I don't know why I'm using more. It's far less reliable. Okay, so, uh, Pokemon Center. Did I heal? I should have healed. I did heal. Oh, uh, we already went back in here and we've already seen that uh, various routes don't seem to lead to anything at the moment inside uh, Mount Full Moon, I believe it's called. So, we're back here in Small Town and now we'll be able to head south once more. Just be able to uh, zip through all this. Don't get static, please. Probably should be using special moves. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to headbutt some of these trees. Uh, or the trees that we can headbutt, at least. I don't know which trees are head buttable though, is the issue. I believe there was a uh, there's a person who gave us eight gems for headbutt, so they must be around here. You'd they would be near the tree in question. So we'll just uh, speed up through some of this. Uh, bah, let's just see, do I buy any repair? I do have some repair I did. So if you can use HM Surf, you can pass across the snake, yeah. Pull a bunch of Pokemon. Just chatting to people just to see what they said. The Mimic Circle, we can actually cut through here, which is nice. Just say, what sort of tree? There is a sweet scent in the air, slather the bark with honey. Okay, so I believe Honey works in that it's six hours, I believe, six in-game hours that you've got to uh, wait before uh, the any Pokemon will appear. You managed to win only because it was a wonder. I'm sure that... Uh, is this the headbutt tree? This must be a tree. Yes, okay, let's use Headbutt. <coughs> let's see what sort of uh, a wild hoot hoot appeared. Okay, so we have wild hoot hoot in the tree. That does not kill you, will kill you, won't it? Yeah. Oh no, it won't. Wow. That does so little. Um, One, two, three, boom. So we catch ourselves a hoot hoot. Good. So. Another wild hoot hoot. We want to see uh, which, how many, po you know, what sort of Pokemon are around here. Usually you can catch Pokemon like Apom, Heracross, um, I think you can catch Slackoff as well. Uh, th these are all rather interesting Pokemon and uh, would be, you know, welcome additions. Wild Emolga, so we can catch Emolga here. Um, I can only imagine if. So, Wobble takes you out from there. Okay. So, we definitely want to try and catch an Emolga. Ooh, 
We'll just keep uh, headbutting away until uh, we actually get the Pokemon that we want. Here. So we see another Hoot Hoots. I should... Uh... Look at that dangerous stab tackle. Anyway, uh... So, let's... Wild Demolga! Okay, so... Eh. I just realised that the Pokemon I've gone into is a uh, weak to flying, but uh, yeah, that's not very effective. Good. We can now go to our bag. We can select a Great Ball, and we can save because this might not work first time. It does work first time. Sweet. So we get the uh, an Emolga, the flying Pokemon, and once more, we'll continue to see. Uh, I'll do maybe three more successful encounters uh, before we uh, quit this. Just to see if uh, there might be another tree actually. We see another hoot hoot. Heck, that's not a miss. Oh, yeah, it's a 95% actually. It's like cut. Wild Heracross, okay. So, uh, you, we definitely don't want to. Uh... I reckon another Fury Cutter won't take you out. It doesn't. Awesome. So, we'll try and catch this Heracross. I would normally expect four po- Ah, there we go. Nice. First time. So we catch a Heracross, which obviously we used in our bug monotype. Uh, or I, I have used in a bug monotype and uh, was a very uh, strong member of that team. Ah, I'm sure there should be... Come on. We just... Another Hoot Hoot. We'll try this out. See if anything we need. Well, Terracross, which obviously is quad weak to flying, so we'll get destroyed by Air Cutter. Another Heracross. Wow, so now we're suddenly seeing lots of Heracross. Come on, let there be something else. Okay, so... Another hoot hoot. We'll do three more encounters and then I will be done. I'm feeling particularly patient, I don't know why. <laughs> One. I do like the animation because obviously a headbutt headbutting trees is not a mechanic that's usually in um, this generation. It's usually do only in Gen 2. And another hoot hoot. Okay, cool. Well, I think that means it's time for us to get out of here, so. Let us leave. Seems that you're energetically traveling here and there. Have you discovered any new ruins? Please tell if you have. Oh, so I'm assuming that was just uh, one of the ruin maniacs. Uh, and that, is that a tree that we can headbutt? It doesn't look like it. No, it's not. Okay. So it's only the, uh, the very large trees that uh, we can actually headbutt. Okay, cool. So now what we'll be able to do is we'll actually be able to continue with the main storyline of this game, which I'm sure you've all been uh, wanting me to do for a while. So uh, we shall head to the, uh, head to the Pokemon. Where's the Pokemon Center in here? I do not remember where the Pokemon Center is. It must be down the bottom, surely. There's the gym. There's the Pokemon Center. Okay, so yeah, so uh, they wanted us to meet us in the research center, so we shall head there. And what do we have? Okay, so we have a, a, a ball shop which allows us to buy all sorts of Pokeballs Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Netball. Dive ball, nest, repeat, timer, and luxury. Okay, cool. All various types. Uh, generally, I'll just stick with great and ultra. We'll stick with great for the moment. We'll get like a couple of balls. Some any particularly difficult. Obviously, we were slightly running low after um, all the catching that we've done this episode. So, we've got to keep heading up, I'm assuming. And. You? 
If only I was a little younger, I would have liked to be an astronaut. No, I think we have been... Yeah, we definitely haven't been this level. What do you have to say? I've been trying to develop a dice that resurrects Pokemon from fossils, and it is working. Okay. So if we keep heading around here, do we eventually find out what's going on? So, what do you have to say? Oh dear boy, nice to see you again. I will never forget that you saved us in our moment of power. This path will lead you to the conference room. Okay, so big story information here. Ah, oh, Maggie, come here. Again, my voices are going to be completely off, but I oh, laugh. Who cares? As you have seen, Team Magma have a big plan to work and growl on. Police kept a close watch on the Magma building for a long time. However, this is no longer important anymore. They have been in the polar forest. About Groudon, it happened long, long ago. The world was wrapped by a ferocious clash between the Pokémon of the land and the Pokémon of the sea. Oh, no time to talk anymore. You should go there now. I feel something wrong there. Wally and Sky have gone before. I will now also go to the forest entrance. I'll see you there, man. And Cynthia leaves. Birch is here. I'm so happy to meet you again, Maggie. I need to go back to my lab to take some materials. You should also register me. Okay, so we finally got the him in our Pokenab. I and everyone will help see you later. Okay, cool. Before you leave, I have a gift for you. Please come here. We're gonna get a Master Ball, okay. Careful, young man. I believe I'm not, but anyway, I believe you can stop them. Obviously, uh, they don't have a, uh, they needed to have a, 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 a split gender option there, but anyway. <laughs> Okay, so let us leave the uh, whatever this is, the Plate Pit Research Center, and we can now. So they headed to the Polar Forest, which, if we check the map, sorry, if we check the world map, so TA City route. Ah, uh, we've got uh, Charpos Island. Ospak Town, Puel City, Hotasita, Puglia, Sea Around, Habitest Town, Route P, Route J. Where is the polar forest then? Is the question, where is the polar forest? Unless it's actually just the forest, the forest entrance is to the polar forest. Which I suppose it could well be. But something I do want to do. Yeah, I, I think I think we will check that just to be sure because I I have a feeling that is actually what it's talking about because I'm pretty sure we still can't tell it. I'm pretty sure we can only teleport like intermittently. So, but anyway, Dark Cave. The one thing I wanted to do here is uh, we have lots of things in this area that we haven't yet uh, done yet. So what I wanted to do is we're in the wrong options. You flash because there are strength and rocks. Uh, well, specifically strength puzzles that we haven't done around this area. That uh, uh, it's time for us to do. The thing is, we're in the area. Obviously, that is not one of them because we still can't surf. Uh, okay, so that's still bad news. That my ta that my air cutter can't take them out because. Uh, I would have liked that to be the case, because if it had taken them out, that would have... Actually... Well, mate, you have so much fun against these enemies, let's just have you wreck them. Uh, so... Flash! So yeah, so here, here are the strength puzzles. So, we got one here. And now we can head down, or we can stay... So let's just see whether down... Does down lead us anywhere? We can find a rare candy on that rock. And we see Wild Abra, which I'm sure we've already dealt with. We see another Wild Aaron. Okay, so we can Rock Smash Strength and head down here. So now we have seemingly blind. Yeah, the only thing we can do is really head. So we are heading up, and now we've got the. Ah, I shouldn't have gone down. Okay, let's see where does this lead us. So we've got some rock smash items. 
I'm assuming this is for items and for a Rock Smash Pokemon. Which, I mean, I think in the Hoenn games you can get Nose Pass in Rock Smash, so maybe this is like a, a place to help you try and uh, get that particular Pokemon. As we see, Wild Zubats. Another Geodude. As well, my grows to level 33. Nice. So. We have nothing more to do than to head down, and we are back where we started. So that is uh, disappointing. Nonetheless, because we're going to actually have to do the whole route again. But anyway. Ah, I hate the fact you have to trigger flak every single time. I feel like it should just be like a you're on the route sort of thing. I don't know how they could do that though. It's the thing. Go away, Abra. I'm leaving encounters on just for the moment. One, because I don't have that many repels. And two, because I uh, just want to see if there's any other rare Pokemon that we haven't yet met in this area. But it may well uh, not be the case. We might have well just met every, all the... Uh, all the wild encounters in this area. So, uh, what we now want to do is we want to check this out. So, we can obviously head straight. Okay, so straight down is actually just to that uh, surf path. So, we can actually bypass the surf. We don't need surf for this area, which is really good news because it's screw surf. Um, this just seems to be walking straight down. We have a double battle. So, uh, we'll be able to see what sort of level these guys are because. Um, there's always a threat that we're actually in an area that we're not meant to be. So, anyway, let's see. We've got an ex uh, what looks to be an expert and a hiker. Isn't that Drayden sprite? Why is Drayden here? Anyway, uh, they have a Riolu and a... Okay, so 26. Yeah, that's nothing, really. Uh, we'll water balls the dude, dude, and we will nightshade the Riolu. Yeah, especially if you're... Uh, you are. Down goes the nose pass. Riolu uses reversal. So actually, that's going to do a lot if we don't. So we'll just head back and we'll nightshade. Just got to to level 32 and we win. Nice. So we register them into the Pokemath. And we arrive outside. So. But we can head back in. And once more, we must trigger Flash, and we will continue to explore this little... Ah, that's a fossil, so we can actually generate regenerate fossils. Or we can actually find fossils here. We've got, obviously, another trainer here. I'm assuming this is, again, similar, similarly low level. Yeah, 27 really isn't anything to be too worried about. Especially if it's got Bubble. Uh, Meditite will go to Duskar. Astonish you. As it's super effective. Nice. I had just had a tasty meal. I'm getting drowsy. So, we've got another strength up. We've got a strength there. We are currently the floor above. Right. There seems to be a lot of roots. Then. So let's head this way. So that, this is a surf path that we can't take with an item. But if we see something similar to that, then maybe we'll be able to actually bypass it. Um, hmm. Which way do we want to go? If we head this way, this is the only way you can go from here. You go up again. Oh, shoot. I should have saved. Oh, man. Okay. So let's see where this entrance takes us. So... Looks like there's uh, quite a lot of things just to sort of faff about with here. Uh, yeah, that, I didn't mean to do that. Let me guess, that means... Oh no, actually, okay, so th th so these areas are con conjoined. I'm pretty sure I already knew that, but anyway. Uh, I didn't mean to go down there. Okay, so let's uh, just uh, quickly make our way through all of these. Come on, let me go. I know. Okay, so now, we're back here. 
I could I could save here actually if there are multiple paths. But uh, so we know that we can't go up, and we know that if we go th that way, we end up with a mark bike area where we've got to. Do we even have the mark bike on us? Is a good question. Bag. We have the acro bike. Can we actually get across that without? I don't think we can. I think we actually. I'm not sure we can actually do that area because I'm pretty sure you need the mark bike in order to travel fast enough in order to uh, not fall down. So that kind of sucks. We can actually head out again, and that just takes us back to the start. So we'll do one more loop, one more loop, and then uh, we'll be done. So uh, let's just go. Where's my repels? And uh, Pokemon, Inferno, use Flash. So this is the uh, one area which we haven't been to yet, and it looks like that the Mark Bike area stops here. So if I just, I'm just going to save because I just want to see whether the Acro Bike can actually part. I'm pretty sure it can't, but I'm just going to see. No, it can't. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that, yeah, that's the same area as we were in before, where it just drops you off. So, interestingly, maybe those two areas are com connected and we just get the Max Revive? Seems like a bit of a puzzle just to do a Max, for a Max Revive. So this takes us back to where we exactly where we were. Uh, and we can't actually go this way. So that is all that's for. Which kind of sucks. Expecting a bit more than that. Repel wires off. The Geodude and Zubat Swarm returns. So I'm pretty sure the only other path we now have is uh, Mark Bike only. So I think we're screwed in that regard. So maybe you can only get the fossil if you use the Mark Bike. Which isn't actually a problem. Uh, like... Obviously, you know, it's easy enough for us to just swap swap bikes. Uh, it's, it's just good news. Good, good to know. Good to know is what I mean. So, um, the map bike room was gone by... So if we do this... This was... Yeah, so that, so that's... That room. Did we try going up? I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, and that leads you just outside for some stupid reason. Because the geometry of this uh, area does not actually match where the actual area uh, is. Okay, so we'll come back here when we have Surf and when we have the Mark Bike, and then I think we'll be able to probably collect everything. But uh, as it is, we can't. So what I should do is take the fastest route out of there, which is actually... Up here. Right. Cool. Okay. So now what we need to do is we actually need to head uh, back through and get to the forest entrance, which yeah is the only thing I can assume is what um, the polar forest is. I can only assume that that is actually uh, where this game is encouraging us to go. So let us buy some repels because. Uh, We're going back through that forest, and uh, I'll be able to check the honey tree again, just because uh... Okay, bag. Super hotel, where are you? Might as well just try it once more! And... Come on. Bet it's going to be a hoot 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 hoot! Yes! Called it. Not that it was difficult to say. Anyway, okay, so. We'll just uh, continue to meander our way through here. We, let's, I'm assuming that there's still gonna be a, a timer on this. Yeah, check back later, okay. And I'm pretty sure if you don't check within the day, then it, whatever Pokemon was there, you lose anyway. 
face. I think that's what happened. Because I was reading up, I, I read up about honey once uh, we uh, got the honey in this episode, uh, in, I think it was the last episode. When we traded it for those, uh, for the mail, randomly. Why, why do you need the mail as well? Uh, anyway, so we head back into here, we go down this one. And now, forest entrance. So this is the uh, this is where things get interesting. And are we correct? We are indeed correct because the magma people have left, which is really good. So let's see. Yes, so here's Sky. Okay. Hey, Maggie, you're here. This fire is so huge and full of many dangers. There are many members of Team Apple and Team Magma inside it, so I must test you first. That makes sense. We can meet. Why don't you? You have a Volpix at level 32. Um, so let's go into our ponytail. Come on, Cosmic Beam! Cosmic Beam. A move I have no idea what it does. Nor I have no idea what type it is. Cosmic Beam. Okay, Stomp is doing a nice amount of damage. Citrus! Just, ugh. You just hate it when they have Citrus berries. Okay, well, look, come on now. Cosmic Beam comes in, Water Pulse is going to take out the Volpix. Nice. Last time he had a Hippopotas, so I wonder if he still has a Leafeon. So, uh, this time we want to go into our painter. So, evidently, Leafeon and most likely Glaceon there are in this game, which is uh, pretty damn cool. Uh, I don't want to see that quick attack. And you actually do have a Hippowdon, so a ground type. Um, we will go back into Wilma. Do you have Sandstream? You do have Sandstream. Water Pulse. After so little, wow! You are a bulky po- uh, well, I mean, obviously it's a bulky Pokemon. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me! Oh, thank you! Um, hmm, what do we want to do here? What do we want to do? Let's Sword start with. Uh, yeah, Ninjask. Okay, you're gonna s curse. So that's sword stance here. You're going to curse. So I'm now gonna screech you. So you're at minus. Sorry, you're at. See, crunch is still special, isn't it? So if crunch is special, then you should not actually be getting too much of. But you you shouldn't be getting any bonus to. Your moves. Uh, where are my potions? Where are my potions? Please help me have some potions. Okay, well, after this battle, I need to grab some potions because uh, that was rather silly of me. If I stay in, if I don't stay in, then do I screech again in order to uh, make it easier for someone else? Let's have a thing. Yes. Oh, are you kidding me? Thank you, thank you, game, for making me miss that. Okay, you, this is a neutral. Okay. Let's confuse Ray. Let's, let's go into hacks, hacks mode. I mean, I mean, crunch is super effective against me, is this is obviously, you know, a big issue. And if crunch is in this game physical, which it seems to be, then uh, that's going to be even more of an issue. Nightshade does nothing, as you would probably expect from such a bulky Pokemon. Let's just keep... Okay, you're going to snap out of confusion, you're going to curse, which is actually wonderful news for me, uh, because uh, you're going to continue to get slower. Oh, I, uh, I should have confused Ray you again, but anyway. Um, Wayama gets killed on entry, don't you... Delayed. Yeah, w Wilma will get killed on entry by the. Uh, I have Iceberg, I completely forgot about that, which is a special move and has the chance to freeze. Let's just. I mean, Crunch is still going to kill me because he's at plus six now. And there we go, we get the freeze. Okay, that's what I was going for. It is, I believe, it is 30% freeze chance. Um, oh, what am I doing? Come on. Come on. This is the easiest way of solving this issue. 
Okay, a plus four iceberg. Still doesn't take you out. I mean, that is testament to how bulky this Pokemon is. But there we go. Down goes the Hapaldon. Don't forget to heal your Pokemon before you enter the forest. Go for fox. Sorry. Whatever accent I had completely uh, disappeared there. Well, that wasn't fun. Interesting, though, because obviously he had two Pokemon there weak to water, but obviously Hapaldon's just bulky enough. I don't know. Uh, I know that, um... Obviously, uh, it's Tyranitar which gets the ability which... No, because Hippardon's ability is Sandscreen. But Tyranitar gets it as well. Is is it is it the ability that raises the special defense in the sand? I think it is. Anyway. <laughs> Maggie, long time no see. My dad told me about Team Magma's conspiracy. Champion Cynthia and people went deep into the forest. We should also catch them up. So we must assume this is Polar Forest. Which uh, I was expecting to be icy. Just from, you know, the poles. But anyway... Evidently not. We see while Centret. Uh, if it's lots of normal Pokemon, we'll actually have to uh, leave because, uh, as in, Duskull won't be our lead Pokemon because uh, I should have caught you. But anyway, let us uh, swap to Ponyta. I mean, I would go uh, Gallade, but Gallade doesn't have the uh... ah damn. That is the thing, uh, because it's, I suppose, the big issue, because it's raining, uh, is that all of the Team Magma grunts are going to actually have a, a big, uh, sorry, all the Team Aqua grunts are going to have a big bonus, because um, because all of their water Pokemon are going to get the benefits that uh, water, rain gives them. Because as everyone says, uh, rain is the weather that just boosts one type and uh, ruins all the others. Because it ruins fire types, uh, you know. So we've got two. Uh, we got a double battle here. We've got another tree for headbutting. So let's uh, let's spend our time doing this. And uh, in the next episode, we'll start. Um, we'll start uh, taking out the grunts because uh, we've been doing quite a lot. Um, we've done quite a lot of sort of meandering about. We haven't really got anywhere, <laughs> unfortunately. But um, uh, you know, there we go. We see a wild pineco here, which I will try and catch in this great ball. Just casually use a master ball on a pineco, maybe not. Bagworm Pokemon! So, that is our four bug type from trees. Yeah, it's doing nothing. So, we've seen three, we've already seen three Pokemon from this tree uh, being. Wild Slack Off. And there is what I've been looking for. A normal type. A powerful normal type. Which I can use. Uh, obviously Slack Off have um, a terrible ability. Uh, but Slacking has one of, well, has uh, the best, I think, the greatest stats of any Pokemon that isn't a uh, that isn't a legendary. So here we have Slack Off, a Slacker Pokemon. It sleeps virtually all day and night long. It doesn't change its nest its entire life, but it sometimes travels great distances by swimming in rivers. Slack Off, there we go, our sixth and final team member. So I am going to be spending the next bit uh, getting this Slack Off. Um, so I'm going to call this episode to an end here. We're going to take Slack Off onto our team. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play of Pokemon Flora Sky. And in the next episode, we are going to sort out the Team Magma and Team Aqua grunts going on in Polar Forest. So I hope to see you in the next episode.